Africans are. At Symbiosis Law School, Pune, students receive a very strong professional orientation, by which I mean a uh, profession is a service, it is bound by certain rules, it is also an orientation to stand on one's own and deal with the society, deal with the people who are in need of your service. As far as law is concerned, as a profession, law is governed by the Bar Council of India rules which governs the training of advocates. Now, in Symbiosis Law School Pune, you will have the principles of Bar Council of India rules in its essence, in its ethos coupled with the global standards which have lately been prescribed by the famous uh, Carnegie report. Now this report laments the fact that the professional orientation in legal profession is not equal to if not better than the medical profession. So one of the things they point out is the professionalism. Symbiosis Law School Pune has made all attempts to visualize and manifest this professionalism in its orientation. It happens, to put it in brief, in three, four ways. If I can uh, elaborate slightly on each of these points, you will be very clear about what professional orientation in this college or in this law school is and how it is different from the rest of the law schools. Number one, when it comes to service, we have center stage service in terms of community service by adopting an underprivileged village and establishing a permanent legal aid clinic there. The learning from there is brought to students uh, in terms of live clients and also in terms of legal aid camps which are done very frequently during the year and there are weekly visits to this community. Second is in terms of orientation through the moods. A student in Symbiosis Law School, Pune, goes through a minimum of five moot exercises in the entire life cycle, which means that a student may go up to 20 moot exercises or may uh, even at a moderate level have 10 such experiences. With each moot to improve because it provides you an opportunity to rehearse the skill and also to improve upon your skill. In a single mooting exercise, you will be developing six different skills such as research skill, drafting skill, team skill, argumentation skill and also the skill, of, I mean there are multiple ways of researching a legal problem and there are multiple ways of presenting a problem and not to speak of other soft skills such as communication skills, body language etc. Now coming to the second point of what we call the combination, in the Carnegie report they said combination of knowledge, ethics and skills. We try to arrive at it right from the first semester itself. In the first semester and second semester, contract law is taught for example. So when the principle of contract is taught, students are also exposed to the day-to-day -day formats of contract called the standard form contract and they also are exposed to how to draft an agreement if there is a kind of hypothetical transaction. There is also a small element of negotiation skills which are taught to students in a, in a kind of a clinical mode. Now, there are so many other examples which I can tell you in terms of imparting understanding or the knowledge which is the first pillar of the Carnegie prescription for professionalism in legal education. The understanding is done by the predominant approach of lecture method coupled with the Socratic method where the dialogical approach is used by the teacher where the students can ask questions or students will be facing questions in small groups. We call it as a small group learning session. Besides that, students can be exposed to quiz mode or group discussion mode. Now some of these modes are also used as part of assessment. So we neatly align this understanding component in terms of teaching, learning, in terms of assessment and also in terms of students maintaining their little journal. Now experiential learning is another part where the skill component is given an authenticity. Now this authenticity happens in two ways. One is where the students are exposed to a year-end, about six weeks long internship. Recently, Symbiosis Law School has innovated a new method whereby during the third year, that is in their fifth semester, student is sent out for six weeks of global exposure or industry exposure or service learning exposure or a module in the liberal arts which will broaden their horizon because they say that Stretching your mind is very important for taking up any challenge, for pr preparing a profound professional. So this is done by means of this kind of experiential learning. The second facet of experiential learning is where advocates and lawyers or 
law firm owners or international experts visit the campus, spend time here, where students have exposure to them on day to day basis for about a minimum of a week or so. And they teach the subjects from the perspective of what they face in day to day life. So learning from such experts, developing contacts, students get stronger and stronger in terms of their professional network and mentoring network as well. Now besides that, in terms of values or ethics, this is the only college where you have five components in professional ethics. Coming to the way in which we have center stage information technology, which is another part of facets of quality legal education, is that they are taught use of legal database by a special training program which our network administrators propose in the class. By means of this we have been able to give that retrieving of law, updating of law and use of legal technology in offices and all other kinds of updated knowledge about technology. All our classrooms are fitted with thin client so students are able to make presentations through PowerPoint and every teacher is well versed with technological use in the classroom. Now apart from that I should also tell you there are mock trials which are held right from third year onwards because once they are familiar with the procedural law of civil and procedure, criminal procedure code they will do these mock trials whereby they will know how exactly the process of adducing of evidence happens. Now in this context we also bring celebrated lawyers like Ram Malani, senior judges of the High Court and Supreme Court who share their experience and who also show how flawed could be the evidence adducing process or the drafting process. At some level we are very much parallel to the new breed of law schools namely the, namely the national law school but at some level I would like to maintain that we are better than them. We have something unique to offer because we are in the company of strongest management institute in the country. The fourth best uh, institute that is Symbiosis Institute of Business Management is our sister institute. So there is a lot of give and take between us and them. Similarly we have got one of the top five communication institutes which gives us a lot of input in terms of communication and journalistic practices, editing practices. We are in the company of Institute of Foreign Languages which gives our students the opportunity to learn foreign languages which not many law schools have the privilege of having. So if you look at overall process in which uh, through which we groom our students, you are sure to see our students will fit any form of vocation. That's why you will see that our students in last five to six years of the Symbiosis International University orientation have received placements ranging from media houses to industries to um, admission to Ivy League universities in United States of America as well as in the United Kingdom through scholarships. Besides that, we also have students have taken topmost placements in the country in the legal profession at tandem or in parallel to the topmost law school. So we, this bears testimony to the way in which we have been accepted by all the stakeholders namely the judiciary, the state, the bar, the bench so, uh, and the industry. So what I would like to propose here is this is because of the en young and vibrant and energetic faculty, the kind of cutting edge curriculum that we have and the way in which we keep updating our faculty resources as well and also the way in which we have built on the strengths of Symbiosis International University in the company of some of the best business schools, journalism schools and the upcoming School of Liberal Arts, School of Economics and the School of Biotechnology. Uh, Ma'am, if you would like to sum it up in uh, two lines of uh, uh, basically why uh, why somebody should join SMS mm -hmm. or uh, or how or somebody can get a an edge over some other school in two lines. You should join Symbiosis Law School Pune for two reasons. One to be different from the rest of the crowd in terms of your knowledge, skills and values. Two, to develop a personality which will help you to cope with the multiple career needs that India and the world are going to be needing in future.